Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about coenzyme Q10, or ubiquinone. So let's get right into it. QQ10 is a fat-soluble nutrient, and it's very helpful for free radical scavenging, or basically it's an antioxidant. It's also helpful in the synthesis of ATP, which is the energy of the mitochondria and the cell and our body. It's part of the electron transport chain, it's also very important for anti-aging due to its antioxidant effect and the production of energy. You need to have energy to be more youthful, okay? The body stores about 0.5 to 1.5 grams of CoQ10 in our system and is synthesized in our body from tyrosine, okay? Your ubiquinone <clears throat> will go from uh, ubiquinone, which is the oxidized form, will go to ubiquinol, which is the reduced form. Okay, your body will convert it back and forth. The deficiency in CoQ10 can be found in multiple different factors. One is advanced aging, genetics or genetic mutations, cardiomyopathy or even just myopathy like muscle pain, liver cirrhosis. One of the most common causes of CoQ10 deficiency is really statin medications. Statin medications will reduce CoQ10. I'll go into the mechanism right now. So, there is a process. There's something called acetyl-CoA converts to HMG-CoA, okay? During this process right here, HMG-CoA will go to melavonic acid, okay? You need an enzyme right here called HMG-CoA reductase. The statin impacts this enzyme. It inhibits it and reduces the activity. So it basically blocks this. Melavonic acid will go to cholesterol and CoQ10, right? So if you block this, you'll decrease this, you'll decrease this, and you'll decrease this. And you need CoQ10 for free radical scavenging as well as ATP production or energy production. You hear it all the time. They're on a statin medication, they develop muscle pain. People feel weak, okay? And this is why that's happening, all right? So the CoQ10 is produced in the body. It's also produced by bacteria. Benefits, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, it's cardioprotective, it improves fatigue for obvious reasons. It improves energy production and ATP. Depression, glucose metabolism, okay? There are different forms. Ubiquinone uh, is basically CoQ10, and they'll use a, uh, an oil, like soybean oil or MCT oil. I prefer the MCT oil version of it. And they'll use uh, peppering, which is black pepper, basically. And it can increase the bioavailability or absorption by 30% uh, into our body when you have it combined. Ubiquinol, okay? There's only one company that makes it. It's called Kaneka, okay? And it will increase the bioavailability, bioavailability of CoQ10 by two to three times. So the only limitation is really expense. Uh, CoQ10 or ubiquinol is quite expensive, okay? High quality ones. The half-life is about 33 hours, so it'll stay in our system a little bit longer. So if you're going to take it, you want to take it after a meal or with something fatty in order to absorb a little bit better. There are even water-soluble forms of ubiquinol, uh, ubiquinone uh, with water-soluble versions, uh, which can enhance uh, absorption uh, when you're not eating uh, with it. Number one, um, clinical nugget. If you're on a statin medication, if you're taking a cholesterol-lowering medication, Okay? It's important to take CoQ10 because it depletes it, right? So if you're taking 20 milligrams of a statin medication, whatever it is, you want to take about 100 milligrams of CoQ10. Probably a little bit less of the ubiquinol because it's more bioavailable, but if you're taking a statin medication, for every 20 milligrams that you're taking, you want to take 100 milligrams of CoQ10. So if you're taking 40, you want to make sure you're taking about 200 milligrams of CoQ10 
or a little bit less of the ubiquinol, okay? Obviously, with medications, you need to talk to your physician. I am not yours, um, so I can't make that recommendation, but talk to your physician about taking CoQ10 if you're on a statin medication, All right? My name is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on The Healthy Side. Have an awesome day.